Welcome back everybody. Thanks again for clicking on one of my videos. So here I am back in the woods at one of my squirrel feeders just all set up and uh, just waiting for uh, the squirrels to arrive now. So let's have a quick gear check and I'm still using the Hick Micro LE10 thermal spotter that great people at Optics Warehouse kindly sent me and I'm still using that here because the field of view of that is absolutely fantastic it's got a really wide field of view and when you're looking at a, a feeder that's only sort of 25 yards away and so on and looking through the trees it just works an absolute treat for that sort of purpose so quick cup of coffee before we get into the action and uh, there's plenty of action coming up. So here's the first squirrel of the day. And he comes along this branch as you can see here. And he stops right there. Perhaps he can see me. I'm not using my pop-up hide. I don't use it as this feeder because it's just too difficult to, to get to with it etc. And he turns and faces right at me. That's never a good thing to do there. So he gets one right in the head. And that's the first one in the bag. There he is. Just at the base of the tree. Good opening shot. First one down. So I noticed some movement up in the trees and get myself set. Just keeping my eye on a bit of movement up there. Have a look through the uh, the wall 4K scope. And as I'm watching the squirrel, he eventually settles. Again, I'm thinking perhaps he's seen me, although I'm, I'm not moving a lot. But there he is. And he's been sat there for uh, a good 30 seconds or so. So I uh, decide to zoom in on him. And if he insists on staying there, he's going to get what's coming. So he drops like a stone. And this is a really good headshot. And you can see that because he's doing the old squirrel break dance. As I keep telling you guys, he's totally dead at this point. He's brain dead and it's just his back legs firing away with his uncontrollable nerves. And eventually he just uh, runs out of nerves. Just there. So, must deserve a coffee after that. A good start in the morning and uh, I'm happy with that as you can see two squirrels down already so this next squirrel caught me quite unawares just came bombing in straight to the feeder knew exactly what he wanted straight in for a nut and he sits up absolutely perfect for the shot. So there you go. Another perfect headshot. And again, as you see, because of that, his remaining nerves far away at his back legs. So he's totally dead here. And it's just the nerves. You can see it's just his back legs far and away, uncontrollably. And he runs out of steam right there. So that's number three down. Looking like it might be uh, a good morning. So I've been having a bit of uh, trouble with the uh, the cameras this morning. It's quite cold this morning and perhaps I hadn't charged the batteries fully I don't think I had charged them from the last time I used them but anyway I clipped the uh, the camera into a, a bush 
so you can get a better uh, view of me if you like or a different perspective of uh, of me sat in the woods and I'm just sat on one of those comfy sort of carry around cushions that you uh, that you get and um, you can see that it's the usual setup there I am with the Hick Micro LE10 just having a look around and like I said before it's got such a great wide field of view it's really good for these closer up sort of um, situations works really really well so the other kit my usual kit you can see it's the FX Dreamline the Sabre Tactical chassis so it folds up lovely fits in my bag and gives me a bit of extra space when it's folded the Wolf 4k scope on the top makes it really easy to uh, to do the recordings and so on another really good bit of kit and that little tripod you can see there uh, was a, a cheap tripod that I bought second hand although I don't think initially it was a very cheap tripod it is a carbon fiber one so it's very light and the legs fold up kind of 180 degrees so you can fold them right back on themselves and again it's so small it fits into my bag as well although the uh, the ball head I've got on there isn't particularly good and uh, sometimes doesn't quite grip the uh, the rifle too well so time for another coffee while well, it, uh, it slowed up for a bit not seen a, a squirrel for a little while now get rid of a bit of a rubbish that's fallen in my coffee cup pour myself out of coffee sit back and um, just enjoy the uh, the outdoors or so I thought so keep watching now I must say it's a bit awkward to drink the coffee with that full netting sort of face mask on and I have to keep stretching it down over my mouth and readjusting it but um, that full face mask is uh, is really good when you're just sat in the open like this so uh, there I am enjoying myself having a good morning it's a little cold as you can see there yeah I'm just saying it's a bit cold this morning keep tweaking me me mask so I can have a coffee and what happens every time you fill up your coffee cup something comes up so I spot another bit of movement out in the trees and there's another squirrel wing coming so this squirrel comes bombing down the trees and settles on a branch just above my feeder and again guys do you think he can see me because he certainly stops and stays there still way too long So another good headshot, and as you'll see, he just rolls down the bank and settles right there. So in the FX Dreamline point two two for squirrels and so on like this I shoot H&N 18 grain Barracuda Hunters and they're a Diablo hollow point pellet and they do seem to really really hit hard with that hollow point I'm really happy with these pellets four in the bag now so it's turning out to be a, a good morning. A 
to get back to my coffee and uh, see if I get interrupted again. Cheers everybody. Big smile on my face so far. It's been a good morning. FX Dreamline going really well. All 4K scope works really well too. But like I said, the little action cameras, this has got a little remote that works for about 10 feet or so, it works really well normally. But I'm having difficulties this morning, so I'm going to have to grab it and turn it off myself. So this is squirrel number five. He comes down the trees and straight across to the feeder. And I'll just keep him in my sights. Across he goes and it comes straight down on top of the feeder. So I'm thinking this is gonna be a, a really good shot. But no. He decides to have a good fidget around in the trees here, as you'll see. eventually settles down and you can see his tail was flicking away and I'm thinking again maybe he's seen me so I zoom in get ready to take the shot and as I take up the pressure on my trigger I pull this one with my gloves on perhaps I just take the shot a fraction too early than I meant to and I notice in my eye that he scoots away so it's not a clean shot and a follow up is required and there he is at the base of another tree there. So a quick follow up shot is required. And did you hear that echo? These H&N hollow points hit really hard. And that's totally done for him and it's over and out for sure. Yep, so that's five in the bag. Okay, so again, a bit of movement up in the trees. So, I grab the thermal spotter and like I keep saying, it's got a great field of view this Hick Micro LE10 and I'll show you a little tiny bit of footage that I took with this and you can see a couple of the dead ones on the floor here and I'm just quickly scanning around there's that squirrel I just noticed up in the up in the height of the branches of the tree and I just have a little scan around to me uh, to me right to make sure there's nothing else around and then back to that squirrel but you can so clearly see a heat source up there it shines out so clearly what a great little uh, thermal spotter this is back to me now and I uh, just point the rifle up in the direction of where the squirrel is so I can get myself ready to take a shot if anything's presented but he stopped right in a position and I'll start the recording on the scope now just hit the button there and I'll show you what I'm looking at through the scope here and this squirrel as you'll see now is stopped probably in the only spot 
where I can't take a shot at him to branch right in the way and I don't know what he's doing there but he's just stopped dead again maybe he's seen me a bit of movement from his health but he's absolutely motionless and I could have took a perfect shot there except for that branch being right in the way so eventually he has a move and up he goes and I'll adjust the rifle in the scope and again he stopped right up in the trees with several branches and so on right in the way and he's just basically stopped right up there I'll have a twiddle with a focus try and get it in there he is you can see there just in a spot without any possibility of taking a shot really so I keep my rifle pointed at him just trying to be patient waiting for him to uh, to make a move and hopefully even come back down to the feeder now this squirrel he sits there for ages absolutely ages and I'll keep my eye on him for uh, for a few more moments but as you see I decide uh, all I can do is sit there and wait and see if he uh, comes out and uh, presents himself okay it's about seven minutes later now and that squirrel is actually still up in the trees sat in the same position but I've noticed something else another squirrel coming in so this is number six and he shoots down to the feeder grabs a nut and then goes back up and I think he's gonna sit on top of the feeder to eat it but nope he decides to going up the tree but he settles down there and a bit of claret and a bit of a hang on and there goes number six now even after having that last shot I grab the thermal again and have a quick peep and that squirrel is still sat up in the top of the branches just where I can't get to him yep he's still up there even after taking that shot in exactly the same spot so I flick the scope on put it on to record just so you can see that he's still sat up there so look, there he is. Same spot, hasn't moved. And uh, at this point, basically I decided uh, six is enough for the day. So I'll be back for that one and see if we can catch up with him another day. So that was a total of six for this morning only within a few hours so that was a really good morning session so it's time to go and do the pickup I'll get my phone out and record that please like and subscribe leave any comments you have in the uh, usual bits below and I'll try and get back to you with them so let's have a look at the uh, pickup for this morning okay so here we are just about to do the quick pickup there's one two three four five just there six over there if I zoom the phone in a bit there and there so yeah really good day today six greys sorted out 
there's the feeder and uh, yeah certainly had quite a few uh, scrolls from this one so another good day at the feeder and uh, I'll see you all again soon.